What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to give you a good overview of why we are very much green, what's happening behind the scenes, and not only that though, the big change of events that's happening at the AMP facility. So I'm going to be talking about that and why we should care as investors. Before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. And with that though, let's get right to it. Live tickers going at the very bottom, currently up 1.33%, 8.2 million for volume, 638 8,000 shares being purchased by institutions on the secondary market. So it's all fine and dandy, but in reality, we are largely up because of Rivian. There's some other external factors as well, but Rivian's electric van deal with Mercedes Benz is a pretty good sign because a lot of people do compare Rivian and Lucid. I know we do different types of vehicles, but we're basically the same in a lot of different senses. Obviously, both starting out and both relatively new to the scene, both have a lot of risks involved. So I think a lot of people see Rivian saying that they can get a deal with Mercedes-Benz, well, it possibly might come to Lucid in the short term. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence at the end of the day. But realistically, this is where people are starting to associate the two. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. I know a lot of people would love a Lucid Apple partnership or just even anything. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But getting right to it. There was this that was posted by Lucid Insider talking about the AMP facility on how basically things are starting to change for the better. When it comes down to it, though, I think it's very assumptuous that we were negative. Uh, I think that's very fair to say, because as investors, we have to realize that there's good, the bad and the ugly in investing. And unfortunately, Lucid just had right plans and everything. Just a lot of things went wrong with Lucid. And I think this is a very good, well put blog does go over a lot of the negatives that was surrounding Lucid and the environment that they were in. Clearly, nobody was really taking accountability uh, coming from VPs, but this is based on the recent article article that did come out from Business Insider talking about how there was six big executive VP changes over the last couple of weeks, which I already did do a video on. So if you do have any questions, definitely take a look at that video. It's going to be in the description below. But outside of that, though, I think this is for the better because all the new VPs that they do have in place right now are very much uh, better if you want to call it that. So I think that's a good thing going forward. But there is one thing I just wanted to point out right here, and it kind of encumbers on where Lucy went wrong. So he talks on basically what Peter was and was not doing. Peter was too focused in efficiency, technology and marketing, obviously giving a somewhat disconnected feel. And I think this is unfortunately one negative thing about uh, Lucid because I think Lucid got placed on this pedestal. I know I have brought this up several times in the past, it got placed on this pedestal, ultimately being compared to Tesla from the get go. So I think immediately uh, Lucid had big shoes to fill. And unfortunately, when doing that, there's a lot of things that do fall through the crowd one of which is production. So I think this is basically a good uh, thought of what Lucid is. But based on this blog post, it does appear that everything is starting to really ramp up. And based on Bearish Workshop latest flyover, it does show things are starting to really ramp up for production. So hopefully things are going to be changing for the better. And based on all of this, it does show 125 vehicles. So a, most likely a change of around 18 vehicles per day. That's what it works out and equates to. So in general, though, I think that's very good thing I did do a video ultimately that Lucid needs to do at least 43 vehicles a day in Q4 to actually reach our target so that's something you just need to factor in I don't think we are too far off like I already said in that video so I think a lot of good things are going to be coming for Lucid and most likely it is insinuating that we may actually get that 6,000 production target by the end of the year so again let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below also there was a very good article that did come out obviously in the light of what's happening in California which really does suck to be honest but there was a priority saying that you cannot charge EVs where they're recommending not to charge EVs and other equipment and things like that during a time frame but I think right here it does say as of Friday they've reported that they're going to be doing basically the peer so I think that's a very big thing they definitely did push that back quite a lot I actually did do a video I believe around Thursday or even Friday saying that they are starting to push the peer out and in reality why the peer is a very big game Game changer for Lucid. So I think that Lucid right now should focus on production and also the peer. Having the lower price vehicle is key to Lucid success. Obviously, I'm just a big fan. This is not uh, any financial advice. This is only for entertainment purposes. And in the end, I hope you are entertained by all this. But let me know your thoughts on Lucid in the comments below. Like I said, I think we are up today.
day because largely of Rivian and also our technicals. Everything in the market is just pretty much standard or pretty stagnant if you want to call it that. On the actual chart right now though, still at 10. So our stochastic, we are very, very oversold. Even similar to RSI is at 35. And that's been the case for the last little bit as you can see right here. But today you do see a start of a nice deviation. If you can see that, it is poking out a little bit. So the black line is showing a nice little wanting of a bullish trend. So that's a very good sign. But keep in mind, all of this technicals is just more so for short term stuff. If you are investing, you should be thinking long term. I think that's plain and simple. We all understand that now with Lucid. And I think out of anything, this recent downtrend that got us roughly below 15, give or take, I think this is very good because it did get out a lot of the paper hands and paper hands really do hurt the stock. Unfortunately, it just adds a lot of selling pressure in reality. They aren't true investors. So anyone who is still in Lucid personally, as much as it sucks and you're probably very frustrated with the production and everything like that, you've definitely become a better investor. You might not realize it as of right now, but by doing this and diamond handing and trusting your due diligence and your gut on Lucid definitely makes you a better investor in the grand scheme of things. So that's my own two cents on what's happening in the market and some very positive things that should hopefully make Q3 earnings a little bit better. Obviously, there might be some negatives still coming from that Q3 earnings, but hopefully we do see a nice growth and continued growth in a lot of different the key attributes. So let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments below. If, if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. If you do like my channel and support the growth, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. On one final note as well, I just wanted to say, I know I haven't necessarily done as many live streams as probably I have in the past, so let me know your thoughts on that. If you are wanting more live streams, I can definitely do so. Just based on participation, it doesn't seem like a lot of people are still interested in live streams. So if you are interested in live streams, give uh, a comment in the description below or in the chat or whatever it is. So let me know your thoughts on that. But with all that, I appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.